Hi, I'm Jenny Garth. I am asked so many times how I keep my weight down and stay trim. The truth is, it used to be very hard. I'd step on the scale every morning, groan, and go without food all day, usually ending up so weak and shaky that I would just lose control and eat all of the junk food I could find. Besides losing control, I lost my energy and my patience. And of course, I never lost any weight. My bathroom scale suddenly had the power to make or break my day. The very first thing I did was throw away my bathroom scale. That was definitely fun. You see, fitness has absolutely nothing to do with a bathroom scale. It's about feeling great and looking great. I looked at the foods I was eating and I made some major adjustments. You see, food is the body's fuel and if I give it the most correct fuel, it will run longer and more smoothly. I used to hate to exercise, but now I actually look forward to it because I feel so great afterwards. Let's do this together, it'll be fun. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, if you have lots of water, comfortable clothes, and good workout shoes, let's do it. Start by doing some deep breathing. Inhale up and exhale. There you go, we worked hard. Good job, guys. Whew, we did it. Earlier, when I told you that I threw away my scale, I got rid of it for a very important reason. I don't want to become neurotic about my weight or my appearance. Which brings me to something I really want to talk to you about. Eating disorders, especially anorexia and bulimia. These are illnesses triggered by emotional problems. Problems at school, at home, at work. It could even be a breakup with a boyfriend. It's so easy to think that if we're just a little thinner, maybe we'll be picked or liked or loved. It's just not true. When we become obsessive about our appearance, we think we're too fat and we diet beyond safe guidelines running the risk of becoming out of control and starving our bodies. According to various doctors and health experts, 20% of those diagnosed with anorexia die from starvation. Our body is the only one we get. Be gentle with it. Respect it by giving it what it needs. Just sitting here talking to you, I am burning at least 35 calories an hour, just breathing and pumping blood through my body. That means that I need to eat 1,000 calories each day just to sit here and do nothing and breathe. Fewer than 1,000 calories a day is dangerous. So to avoid anorexia or any eating disorder, have your doctor help you set a healthy weight goal. Eat a balanced diet every day and exercise every other day. If you think that for one minute most of us you see on television or in the movies starve ourselves or binge and purge to stay trim, think again. We can't. We have to be able to work long, hard hours and keep a good attitude or we're out of work. That's why we come to understand that our bodies are to be respected. We need them, so we have to take good care of them. I want you to do that, too. If your bathroom scale is in charge of your life, or if thin is never quite thin enough, please ask someone to help you get it under control. Being fit, feeling great, and looking terrific come from balancing food and exercise. I had fun. I hope you did, too. So bring your body back here the day after tomorrow, and let's do this again.